Hi everybody. I wanted to show you today um, how to prep a bat for spinning. So if you've bought a bat from me, it will come in a paper bag. Ta -da! Everybody has different ways of spinning them, but I'm just gonna show you the way that I really like to spin these. I'm actually gonna just pull it out because I wanna reuse the uh, paper. So it'll come like this. Isn't it so cute and squishy? And it comes with a little ribbon as well. And it's up to you if you wanna spin it in. I like spinning ribbons into my yarns. Um, so yeah, you can spin that in if you like. First of all, unravel the bat. I keep trying to focus on my face. Okay, like this. Pull it all like this basically. Strip it in half first. So I just get the middle and gently pull the fibres apart. So like that. And then I just, I split it um, how I like the colours really. So I think I'm going to split it here. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this kind of happens and you end up with a thin bit so if that happens i just split it in half there's really no right or wrong just do whatever works for you i then just pull really gently and this is a really nice thing to do um just to get a feel for the fiber before you spin it as well because every fiber has a different staple length which just means how long the hair is basically. And every fibre is a little bit different. So before you spin, it is quite nice to get a little handle on that and just have a feel. So yeah, I've just kind of pulled it apart. There's no thinner or thicker bits. It's all kind of consistent. And then I just, I roll it into a little nest. So I find it, if I leave it as a strip, the fibres can fly around a little bit. So yeah, that's my little nest. Here's my little nest pile. So you just lay them out how you'd like to spin them. Sometimes bats might have different colours and you can pick and choose which colours. Um, you can spin from one colour to another to create a gradient yarn. All the bats that I make have like a kind of subtle, stripey, scrappy look. In fact, I can show you. So this dress is um, something that I spun from my bats. You can see some of the ribbons in there. That's what it looks like when you spin them in. You can kind of see the random subtle stripes. Uh, it's all kind of blendy like that. That's how my bats kind of look when they're spun up. So that's just how I like to prep my bats. There's really not a lot to it. Some people just spin straight from the bat and they just have one big bat. I just find myself getting in a bit of a tangle when I do that. Um, yeah, I find it easier to strip it. We made it to the end of the video. Ah. I'll be recording a video on how you can then use a drop spindle to spin that. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for listening and I hope you found it helpful. Happy spinning, everybody. Bye.